Welcome to Facts TV tonight we'll be featuring legend known as Nicholas Scott Cannon was born in San Diego, California on October 8, 1980 and was raised by his paternal grandfather. While in his teenage years, he was affiliated with the Lincoln Park Blood Street Gang, but he left behind his affiliations after losing a close friend. 1998, he attended Monte Vista High School in Spring Valley, where he was president of the African Student Coalition. Cannon received his first break doing stand-up comedy on his father's local cable public access TV program. Cannon was one-third of the rap group The G4 Dope Bomb Squad. They opened for the likes of Will Smith, LFO, 98 Degrees, and Montel Jordan. After signing with Jive Records in 2001, he was featured alongside Romeo Miller and 3LW on the Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius soundtrack with a cover of the 1988 hit song Parents Just Don't Understand. His debut self-titled album was released in 2003 and included the single Your Pops Don't Like Me, I Really Don't Like This Dude. In 2005, Cannon formed his own record label, Can I Ball Records, with plans to release his second studio album, entitled Stages, later that year the album's first single, Can I Live, an anti-abortion, pro-life, song, was released in July 2005 followed by the second single Dime Peace in March 2006. In 2009, Cannon, after canceling his old label Can I Ball Records, entitled Incredible Entertainment. In 2010, Cannon created a parody of hip-hop pioneer Slick Rick, entitled Slick Nick. He released two songs by the characters such as I'm a Slick Rick, a freestyle of Cali Swag District's Teach Me How to Dougie in which he attempted to diss hip-hop megastar Eminem, and Nick Story, a freestyle rap version of Slick Rick's children's story. On December 6th, 2011, Cannon released his debut mixtape entitled Child of the Corn. On July 26, 2013, Cannon premiered his new single Me Sexy and announced over seven years after the shelving of his album stages that he was working on a new second studio album entitled White People Party Music featuring collaborations with Afrojack, Pitbull, Future and Paulo de Don. The album's second single Looking for a Dream was released on February 11, 2014. The song features Afrojack. The music video was released on Vivo on February 13th. On November 16th, 2016, Cannon released his second mixtape, The Gospel of Ike Turn Up, My Side of the Story, before the release of the mixtape. A music video for the single If I Was Your Man was released on November 7th, 2016. On December 2nd, 2016, Cannon released a single called Hold On on iTunes. Cannon released The Invitation, an Eminem diss track, on December 9, 2019, as a response to Eminem's feature on Fat Joe and Dre's Lord Above dissing Cannon. The track featured former record producer and convicted felon Suge Knight, including rappers Hitman Holla, Charlie Clips, and Prince Easy, whom Cannon referred to as the Black Squad. After Eminem responded to Cannon with two tweets, Cannon released a second diss track the next day featuring the same rappers as well as conceded titled Pray For Him, followed by another solo diss track entitled The Invitation Cancelled. Nick Cannon created, produced, and hosted the MTV comedy series Wild In Out in 2005. In the same year, Nick hosted the slime stunt on Nickelodeon's 2005 Kids' Choice Awards which a human cannonball was shot into slime. He was also a DJ on Ellen DeGeneres' Bigger, Longer, and Wider show. On December 11, 2009, Nick Cannon alongside Justin Timberlake, Hayden Panettiere, LeBron James, Kelly Rowland, and Alicia Keys hosted the Nickelodeon Halo Awards. Nick Cannon in 2010 created and co-hosted the short-lived teen Nick original series The Nightlife. On July 4, 2011, Nick Cannon also hosted the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest in the annual American Competitive Eating Competition. MTV2 announced that the revival of Wild N out on November 12, 2012. The show was produced by Cannon's Incredible Entertainment. It premiered in 2013. Cannon was noted saying, with our show's original cast, everyone from Kevin Hart to Cat Williams, Afion Crockett and Teron Killam becoming household names. I am looking forward to working with MTV2 as we work to introduce the biggest comedic stars of tomorrow with the return of Wild and Out. Rapper Big Boy of Outcast confirmed with a tweet on Twitter he was shooting an episode on January 29, 2013 in NYC and for people to join in the audience. 
On December 1, 2012, Cannon would launch and host the Teen Nick Top 10 on Teen Nick as part of his executive role with the network. The program counted down 10 popular videos of the week, often with Cannon's input also a part of the week's playlist. The series would air until March 17, 2018, when Teen Nick phased out all original programming. On November 4, 2013, Cannon was the master of ceremonies at the annual Ebony Magazine Power 100 Awards. In 2014, he started hosting Caught on Camera with Nick Cannon on NBC. On August 4, 2016, Wild N Out returned for its eighth season after three record-breaking seasons. On February 3, 2021, Cannon tested positive for COVID-19, leading to Nisi Nash temporarily filling in for him during his quarantine during the fifth season of The Masked Singer. He returned to hosting duty after competing as the wild card contestant Bulldog in the fifth episode and was eliminated by Nash's choice. In addition, in 2019, it was announced that Cannon would be debuting his own syndicated daytime talk show in 2020 via Lionsgate's Debmar Mercury and Cannon's own production company, Incredible Entertainment. After taking a break due to his controversy, the show, Nick Cannon, premiered on September 27, 2021. With the Fox television stations, the show was canceled in March 2022 and his final episode aired on May 27, 2022, with guest Carrie and Inaba. From 2009 to 2016, Cannon served as the host of America's Got Talent. He announced he would not be back for 2017, citing creative differences between him and the executives of NBC. The resignation came in the wake of news that the network considered firing Cannon after he made disparaging remarks about NBC in his Showtime comedy special, Stand Up, Don't Shoot. I love art and entertainment too much to watch it be ruined by controlling corporations and big business, Cannon said in a statement, referring to the cable giant Comcasts. Cannon, NBC executives, the Comcast owners did not accept his resignation and had been stated to be keeping their fingers crossed that he would instead choose to return. Cannon's resignation was ultimately accepted. He was replaced in his position as host of America's Got Talent by Tyra Banks, known for also having hosted America's Next Top Model. Nick Cannon was the chairman of the Teen Nick Channel for Nickelodeon in 2009, as well as its development and creative consultant. In 2012, Nick Cannon created a sketch comedy series, Incredible Crew, starring six teenagers as Cannon wrote and produced the theme song. The show was produced by Cartoon Network Studios in association with Incredible Entertainment. The series aired 13 episodes before being canceled. As previously mentioned, he also hosted the network's Teen Nick Top 10 video countdown program. On November 30, 2012, a picture of Cannon was posted on the Incredible Entertainment website, which reported that Nick signed a deal with NBC Universal to produce scripted and unscripted material for the network. In December 2015, Cannon was named Chief Creative Officer of Radio Shack in hopes of catering to a younger crowd. His roles involved creating Radio Shack exclusive products and curating the in-store experience. They launched the incredible line of consumer audio electronics the following February, starting with Incredible One wireless headphones. On January 19, 2010, Cannon hosted the morning show, 6 to 10 a.m., with co-hosts Nikki and Southern Sarah Lee at 92.3 Now FM, WXRK FM, in New York. Cannon has a weekly chart program called Cannon's Countdown that is syndicated by CBS Radio. On February 17, 2012, Cannon resigned from 92.3 Now citing health issues. Nick Cannon is estimated $50 million. Currently, Cannon hosts his own show, Nick Cannon Mornings, at Power 106 in Los Angeles. Nick Cannon's show replaced Jay Cruz's The Cruise Show in the 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. time slot after Jay Cruz went over to urban contemporary hip hop iHeartRadio rival KRRL Real 92.3 for their afternoon drive show. In early 2011, Cannon recorded his stand up comedy special titled Mr. Showbiz at the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas. The special premiered on Showtime on May 14, 2011. A digital release of Mr. Showbiz became available on iTunes beginning May 16, 2011, with a physical release of the album on May 31, 2011. Cannon was hospitalized on January 4, 
2012, for treatment of mild kidney failure, and again on February 17, 2012, after a pulmonary embolism. On March 5, 2012, his kidney problems were due to lupus nephritis. Cannon enrolled at Howard University in 2016 and graduated in 2020 with a Bachelor of Science in Criminology slash Administration of Justice and a minor in Africana Studies. Cannon endorsed the 2020 presidential campaign of rapper Kanye West after he guest starred on his podcast Cannon's Class. In February 2007, Cannon met model Celida Ebanks and they got engaged with a public proposal at Times Square in May of the same year, but broke off the engagement by October. Cannon married singer-songwriter Mariah Carey on April 30, 2008, at her private estate on Windermere Island in the Bahamas. On April 30, 2011, Carey gave birth to twins. After six years of marriage, the couple separated and Cannon filed for divorce in December 2014 and was finalized in 2016. He has three children with model Brittany Bell, a son, born February 2017, a daughter, born December 2020, and another son, born September 2022. Cannon and model Alyssa Scott had a son, born June 2021, who died of brain cancer five months after birth and a daughter, born December 2022. With Abby De La Rosa, he has twin sons, born June 2021, and a daughter, born November 2022. Model and real estate agent Brie T.A.C. gave birth to their son in June 2022. In September 2022, model Anisha Cole gave birth to their daughter. Since 2011, Cannon has served as the celebrity spokesperson for the National Association of Letter Carriers annual National Food Drive, which is held throughout the United States on the second Saturday in May. On July 14th, 2020, Nick Cannon was fired by Viacom CBS after making racist and anti-Semitic remarks during an episode of his podcast Cannon's Class with Professor Griff. Two days later, Cannon released an apology only for his remarks regarding anti-Semitism. He also demanded complete ownership of Wild and Out and an apology from Viacom CBS for his termination when Fox became aware of his podcast. The network immediately consulted him and accepted his public apology, allowing him to remain host of The Masked Singer. He donated his first paycheck to the Simon Wiesenthal Center in light of the incident. On February 5, 2021, Viacom CBS announced that Wild N Out would resume production with Cannon as host, saying that Cannon has taken responsibility for his comments and worked to educate himself through conversations with Jewish leaders. Thank you for watching Facts TV. Subscribe.